What's good y'all seeing this thing? In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you hacks that you didn't know about the iPhone. Let's get it. Love is All right, now for being realistic, you may or may not know about some of these hacks. So let's just get into it. All right, so the first one is swipe to text. Now I learned this by accident and I feel like I'm late to the party, but it's cool. So I added it in. So say you're trying to text somebody and be like, hey, how you doing? Whatever you want to say in your little text. So you pretty much just swipe what you want to say. So if I'm trying to say, hey, H-E-Y, hey, space, how you doing? How you doing? Like, I know I'm late to the party, but swipe the text. I mean, you don't, you ain't gotta be doing no Twitter quick fingers. Just swipe. Number two is folder notification hold. So if you're like me and if you have a lot of apps and specific folders because you like to keep things organized and have, you know, a finance folder and then a games folder and product photography, whatever folder, whatever folders you have. With that being said, you're going to get notifications whether it's updates or someone, someone, someone commented something or liked something or just whatever, you're gonna get notifications on those apps. And if it's in folders, you don't always wanna have to, you know, sit there and slide through to try to figure out which app it is and da 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 da. So right now it only has two, but say I had multiple. So I'll slide like my phone icon in there or whatever. So now it shows three. Say I didn't want to just open it up, just press and hold on the folder and now you see that I have settings and phone that have notifications. So it's a quick and simple way to figure out, you know, what is this notification app coming from. All right, so this one, I was playing around with my phone and I figured this one out too. So say you have like a presentation, or not even a presentation, but you just wanna make a quick one to like slideshow situation. So this one is a slideshow feature that you can do with your photos and videos. All right, so for this one, you wanna go into your photos and you can either click on an album that you're wanting to use, or if there's just certain pictures or videos that you wanna select, you can do it that way as well. So once you have them all selected, go down here with the little box with the arrow, tap on that, and you're gonna see slideshow. And it literally You can get the shirts available at TashaJolly.com or, or you can now go on Amazon.com. The link will be down below. There you can get more colors. It's not gonna be a champion shirt, but you're still gonna get the shirt. You can still flaunt that you're a photographer and you wanna get some work done. So go ahead and go to Amazon.com, check it out, see if you like any more colors or if you want a champion shirt with those colors and long sleeves and things like that, you can still go to TashaJolly.com. It's a little plug, a little plug. But yeah, so that is a slideshow feature. You can select as many photos and videos that you want. It even puts a little music there. So if you just want to be cute for your little girlfriend, little boyfriend, or whatever, there you go. You got some pictures, boom, boom. You forgot their birthday, hurry up and boom, boom. Be like, I've been working on this for hours. You know, maybe don't lie, maybe remember their birthday, get a little calendar, a reminder or something. But yeah, slideshow feature. All right, so this hack is undo, redo. Now, I knew about the undo but I didn't know about the redo. So I'm gonna let y'all know just in case you didn't know. So, you know, a majority of us know if you're typing something and then you just wanna remove it, you can shake it and it will do undo typing. You can do undo, right? But I thought that once it's over with, it's over with. But you can shake it again and you got redo typing. Like I, I legitimately did not know that. Redo, hello. Like have you ever been upset and you're like, you know what, I cannot wait to just really get mad and beat you up and something, something, yada, yada, yada. And you just write like all this stuff and you're just, you know what, this is ridiculous. I told you to be here at nine and it's currently 9.30. You're 30 minutes late and I'm not gonna keep waiting on you. You know, stuff like that. If you that mad, maybe just relax. But, and you accidentally delete and you're like <coughs> So what you wanna do is just shake that thing, undo, redo, do, do, undo, redo. Anyway, so that's that feature, super cool. You know, you may need it, who knows? Now if you've been on my channel, you know, you know that I'm, I'm the photography lover, video lover and stuff like that, love taking photos. So 
This one has something to do with pictures. All right, so if you open up your camera, hey, what's good? All right, so say I want to, you know, have it follow me and things like that. But you see with the autofocus box, it's just kind of like there. So if I wanted to walk around or something or, you know, do whatever I'm doing, the autofocus is just staying there. So if you want to lock it, maybe on your eye or just a face, just press and hold on it until you see AEAF lock. So once you do that, now when I move, it's in this one spot. So, you know, before, if I press and hold again to unlock it, so let me, didn't mean to do that, uh, but let me show you what I mean. So let's try it this way. So we have my cat sitting here, right? Say I wanted to get on her face when I move, like this, it's just kind of bouncing around, moving around, but if I wanted to lock it so it stays on her face, even when I move, I'll press and hold it. You got the AE, AF lock. So now when I move, that box is gonna stay in that one spot. And then if I unlock it on her face again, now it moves and tries to kind of hunt and things like that. So yeah, that's the autofocus lock. If you wanted me to go more in depth in the autofocus lock and you know, how to actually like use it if I were to take portraits or something like that, let me know and I can make that video. So yes, that is hacks that you didn't know about the iPhone or maybe you did, but if you did, let me know if you did. And if you didn't, let me know if you didn't. And y'all, if you're interested in checking out the shirts, Go ahead and check out the link below, or again, you can go on Amazon.com. The link will be below as well. You can check out the more colors and things like that. And also, y'all, I'm going to be doing a giveaway with a shirt. So if you're a photographer and you're interested and you want a shirt, you know, keep an eye out for that because that's coming here sometime shortly. All right, y'all. I'm out. Love is love. Love is love. Yo, yo.